everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another commentary video. In today's commentary, what I wanted to talk about is what I want to see for the next Overwatch hero. This is going to be Hero 27, because all the DLC heroes, or the uh, heroes that were released after the launch of Overwatch, have all been very different and unique. We've had Anna as the first DLC hero, then we had Sombra, then Orisa. Then we had Doomfist, and now we have Moira as the newest add-on hero. Now everyone's uh, talking about the next hero because it seems like when uh, Overwatch, you know, was releasing their heroes last year, it seemed like that they were kind of going for the tradition of July, then November, and then March. Those three months is usually when a hero gets added, and that has been the case because Anna and Doomfist were both released in July, and then also Sombra and Moira released in November, and Orisa over released in March, and if they follow that pattern, that means that the next hero should release in exactly March. So that's actually very soon, uh, since February is a short month, um, and we have 28 days this year. When you're gonna be watching this, it is going to be on the 27th, so we only have two days left in February. And so that means that could be relatively somewhat soon. In fact, we've actually been getting teasers on the Overwatch uh, Twitter account. If you haven't seen that or follow it, I'll put some images up on the screen if I can. Uh, these are basically tweets about like uh, you know stuff that's basically kind of like hints, whether it be the weapon for the the character or whether it be quotes or backstory info. Uh, it's just basically just kind of like starting the teasing. So we are going to be getting something for this you know, hero soon that basically reveals it because they're already talking about it on the official Twitter and even Reddit and stuff like that. So let's talk about Hero 27 and even some of the past heroes and let's talk about what I would want to see for a Hero 27 or just a hero in general because there's a lot of ideas that I have for this. So let's talk about the things that I would like to see. The first thing that I would like to see is I would like to see a hero that's in the defense category like, if you pay attention really closely to all the heroes we've had, we've had every single type of hero besides a defense hero. We've had two healers, we've had one tank, and we've had two DPS. But the, the DPS are on the offense side, and there's no defense DLC hero. They are all completely just the normal heroes that are from the base game in the defense category. And I don't know particularly why that's the case. We have not had a DLC defense hero. Now I don't know whether that's just because they're saving that for later or they can't come up with one that would be balanced properly. Because DLC heroes in, in like Overwatch are not exactly meta changing. I mean they try to shoot for that but not in a bad way. Let me explain what I think is a bad way of meta changing. A bad way of meta changing is where they either nerf somebody else to basically make the DLC hero better, uh, or they make the DLC hero really stupidly strong to basically be more powerful than the original heroes, and I think that that's not a good meta change. I think a good meta change is where the hero can be combined in with the current heroes in a good way, and the comp can be changed. For example, let's say that we get another tank because Aris is the only DLC tank. If we get a tank that, let's say, has more shields, that way you have more than just Orisa and Reinhardt because Reinhardt and Orisa are really the only tank heroes that provide shields for everybody. Divas is kind of for her own, and then Zarya really just does bubbles. So if we had that, that would be considered meta changing, so that way you would have more than just Orisa and Rein as an option. Now, let's talk about this a little bit more in depth because I know that this sounds a little bit weird about why I specifically would want a defense hero. The reason why I primarily want a defense hero is just because I want the defense category be, to be more diverse, if that makes any sense. Because the main type of heroes that you get on like the defensive roles, even if they're not in the defense category, are all relatively the same. And I feel like that character should be in the category that they're played as. I really don't think that Symmetra, for example, should be a support hero. She should really be defense because everybody uses her just to specifically set up shop, place down turrets, get that shield gen, and camp. You really very rarely will see a offensive Symmetra. You will very rarely see a Symmetra being in a supportive role. She acts as a lot like a DPS, and that's why I don't think she should be a support. But they're not going to change it for all I know, so I'm just you know going to have to deal with it. But I would like the hero to be a hero that can actually fit in their class. Don't be a support, but act like a tank for something like that, as an example. Like, actually match the role that they're placed in. 
and that's why I wanted defensive heroes because a lot of the defensive heroes are heroes that are not even meant to be defensive in the first place, such as Symmetra, or a lot of people will use Orisa in camp with Bastion and then they don't move. Or a lot of people will use Moira as a DPS. Like, just stuff like that. Like, that doesn't make sense. They're using it completely in the exact opposite way of, you know, it being intended. So that's why I want to see a defensive hero so people can kind of stop using, you know, m like Moira as a DPS or like Bastion and Arissa as a combo for defense or Sim as a camping machine. It's just kind of annoying. I want people to play their roles for where the hero actually fits. Now let's talk about another thing, and this is a little bit more on the goofy side, that was more of the serious type of side. These are just kind of like little ideas that I think would be cool, obviously these wouldn't be combined necessarily, but these are just a couple ideas that I think would be fun to see for a hero again. I really would like to see another melee only hero, I know that Doomfist technically counts as melee only, because he's you know going around meleeing people and everything, but I mean like a pure melee hero. Doomfist has his hand cannon. Or his like uh, his little shotgun on his wrist, and that really doesn't count as melee only to me. I want to see something a lot like Reinhardt, where you have your abilities and then that giant melee weapon that you go around and just beating people to death with. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember this, but uh, there was a one funny moment clip that I had with Reinhardt in an Overwatch video. Here comes the German man. <laughs> Here comes the German. <laughs> So basically that's just like the original clip. I like that because Reinhardt is melee only and you can't really do that and have that same feeling with a character that shoots just because you're basically just charging in all or nothing and you're basically just going and just, just murdering people, just meleeing in like hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's very hands-on. I like that a lot. It's very funny and fun. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, the, the strongest melee hero. Uh, it doesn't have to always be melee heroes, but I think that a melee hero other than Rein, like that's just completely melee and I think that'd be very fun because it would make people you know kind of like be a little bit more diverse and it would also prevent camping in a sense now this last request or these last couple of requests may sound a little bit weird this is probably the weirdest request you're probably gonna hear in this video but I just think that this would be kind of fun and goofy for a character to actually have this. Now I know a lot of people when they hear a DLC character they mostly just care about if the characters balance, are they fun, are they easy to play, are they hard to play, stuff like that. But I also really like the lore and I like hearing the voice line interactions, I like hearing the character interactions in game. I just think it's very fun and it brings a lot of personality to the game instead of just being like oh you're some generic you know character that just shoots and kills people. I really like Overwatch because they have personality personalities and their characters they're very diverse they all come from different parts of the world they have different backstories and I think that this character idea would be kind of cool because you really don't have a character a lot like this I guess the closest thing that you could kind of get to this is kind of Lucio actually because he kind of has like this passive aggressive type of voice line that you hear every now and then or these you know, occasional few quotes and you may not exactly understand what I mean but I'll talk about it in a second here I kind of wanna, this is gonna sound so stupid, but I kind of really wanna see a character that's a little bit of a smartass. I wanna see a hero that no matter what type of hero they are, they can just make you laugh because they're just super, they're just, 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 they're just a smartass, it's just funny. Like who doesn't love a good smartass? I know that may come across as annoying and maybe even weird, but I wanna have a character that's like along the lines of, uh, let's say they're a healer and then somebody's low on health and like Genji says like I need healing and then there's some like voice line quote that you can play or there's some like just quote that auto activates on this character and they're just like oh you need healing well then maybe you shouldn't have gotten shot like that like stuff like that like I like I'm not like I'm not saying that has to be a thing you know or along like that line uh, but I think something along that line would, would be definitely funny because there's a lot of people that joke around saying that they would love to have a no voice line, just a flat out no for their healer. So like when somebody says I need healing, you just say no, kind of being that type of smartass. I think that no matter what character you have, if you can have some s sort of smartass, you know, reply or quote or just personality, I think that'd be very funny. Like, because who doesn't love a, a funny guy or a funny, you know, girl or a funny robot even? Like, I would love to see a character that can be funny and a little bit of a smartass, because a smartass, in my opinion, is one of the more funny things when it comes to video games, movies, TV, stuff like that. I like to laugh a lot. I'm very, very, you know, passionate about laughing and having a good time and seeing a lot of funny stuff. 
and you guys will probably notice that a lot in my funny moments videos I always try to be you know having a lot of fun trying to make people laugh and I think that a smart ass character would be a really funny way to go and that's just something I kind of wish that they would add to overwatch and going back to the Lucio thing in case you guys are wondering why the heck I say that Lucio kind of has this if you kind of hear you know Lucio's voice lines on and off Sometimes Lucio will say these remarks to like characters whenever he kills somebody or whenever he uh, completes an objective and uh, One of the the only quote that I can really remember and I uh, don't really exactly know the full entire quote like by heart but I remember there's something along the lines of uh, When he kills somebody he's just like oh did I do that? Oh, I'm sorry, but he says it like kind of like passive aggressively like he meant to do that you know obviously and it's just kind of funny just to see, like, he's joking around saying, like, oh, I killed you, you mad. Or, or he has, like, a quote that's, like, a, why are you so angry? That one I remember for sure. I just think that those kind of are funny and just, like, a little bit, you know, weird. Because Lucio's a nice guy. He's one of the more polite heroes in Overwatch. But he has these, just, you know, cocky moments where he's just like, oh, I killed you. No, are you pissed? Stuff like that. I think it's just kind of goofy. It's very lighthearted. But I feel like that a more serious type of, like, uh, you know, quote like that, like a kind of, like, less comedic one and more of a serious one that can come across as funny, I feel like that, that would be kind of good. Just because there's not really a lot of, uh, kind of humor in Overwatch. There's these... You know, quotes they hear every now and then, like Lucio's, but a lot of characters are either upbeat or just piss. Uh, I don't really know a lot of characters that are necessarily depressed, but uh, a lot of characters are either full out angry, like Doomfist, or a lot of them are really happy and bubbly, like Tracer. It, it's just really weird how that that's kind of like the majority of the characters. I feel like that if you had like a comedic person, that would be funny. It would, it would, it would give you a reason to look into the lore, look into the backstory of some of these characters, and just give you a good laugh. And uh, I know this is a random fact, but I'm also just going to throw this here at the end of the video. Uh, these are just like some type of accents that I would like to see for a Overwatch character. I am a big fan of accents, and I really like the idea of accents. Um, you know, for example, I really like Tracer's British accent. Uh, I would like to see a character that was either Scottish or Canadian, just because I like their accents too. I know that's really obscure and another weird fact, but I, I don't really need to go into depth on that one, so I'm just going to just put that out there at the end of the video. Uh, but anyways guys, this is going to be today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy seeing some more Overwatch and I hope you guys like my ideas. I know some of them were towards, you know, the end were kind of weird. But I, it's just, you know, a lighthearted video and just sharing my ideas. Let me know in the comment section down below what you would want to see for Hero 27 or just an upcoming DLC hero in Overwatch. Let me know what type of traits you would want them to have, like abilities, ultimates, uh, you know, backstory, or just in general, like, would you want to see a healer or a DPS, a tank, stuff like that. Like, let me know what you want to see for Hero 27 or even a hero following Hero 27. But anyways guys, this is going to be today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy seeing the video. And like I said, if I haven't said it already, if you agree with me, please feel free to leave a thumbs up on the video. Because that shows that you guys want to see more of this and in general that you just support the video as a whole. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here because that is really appreciated. And it will also let you guys know when I'm uploading another video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Peace out everybody.